So hey everyone, welcome to Lady Crafts A Lot 83's channel. I know I was supposed to record yesterday so the video could be uploaded today or by the morning, but I uh, woke up yesterday with a slight migraine. Sorry guys if you hear the noise, that's my washing machine is washing, my dryer is drying, and my yard room is right across from the kitchen, so yeah, we're going to have to deal with that. If that's okay with you. Anywho, I am your host, Narrator. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that have been following me and for those of you that are new, hi, my name is Narrator. Go get your drink. I have some water with aloe from Herbalife. And uh, yeah, we have a couple of things. I have a couple of finished objects. Very tiny finish objects. I consider them finish objects, so we're just gonna say finish objects, right? Also, allergy season, so yes, that's bad for me. Yesterday, as I was saying, I woke up with a migraine, so I wasn't able to do the podcast for you guys. And this is season two, episode three. Yeah, I have my Yorkie right there. Let me show you. Come here, baby girl. So this is my Yorkie, this is Princess, this is the bubby of the house, because she's so tiny, she, she's a toy, three years old. This is my baby, this is my heart right here, she's always on me. So yeah, as I can, you guys can see, she's always on me. So yeah, so that wasn't able to happen yesterday, also... I have a couple of whips to show you guys. I have two whips that I've been working on constantly, like monomic, mon, monomic, yeah. Yeah, I've been working on these two projects like continuously because monogamously, yeah, that word is a tongue twister. So yeah, I, so I have two whips that I've been working on constantly because I really want to get finished with it. Also because one is sleeves and the other one is a shawl, which I only need a little bit more from this ball. So it could be done and then I'll have another finished object. And then the other finished object will be my son's sweater, finally, after a year being on the leader. Mm -hmm. Funny thing. Anyways, once I get to that project, I'll let you know what's funny about that project. So yeah, a little bit of blather. I am a mom of three, for those of you who don't know. I have a 17 year old son, Javan. I have twin girls that are autistic with developmental delays and hyperactive, which their names are Ashley and Ariana. My twin brats. So I call them three, my three musketeers. Yeah, they're my three musketeers. And yeah, so there's been so much going on. Uh. We'll talk about those things in blather towards the end. Yes, Kristen, I'm copying you on the blather because I have no other name to give it. So yeah, later on blather, a little bit about me, my new obsession. Yeah, that sort of thing. So there goes my baby. So anywho, we're going to go on to finish objects. It's in this bag, which I've had forever purchased this on Etsy. I'm not sure if the maker's name is inside. Let's see. Oh, it is. It is Elite Stitch. www.elitestitch.com There goes the name. And uh, I like this bag. It's very deep. I love that the bottom is a dark color. It also has Two pockets on the inside right here. It has one pocket here and one pocket here. It also has, for those of you that like doing color work, it also has these little clasp thingies right here where you can put your yarn through and do color work. So you can have one pulling on one ball of skein, one ball of skein. <laughs> you can have one color pulling from this um, loop and another color pulling from this loop. But in here I have my miter square 
blankie. And the pattern that I'm using for my Martin Square blankie is Knitted Patchwork Recipe by Martine Ellis. And it looks like this. And yeah, this pattern is super easy. Uh, I had this on time out for like ever ago. And I recently picked it up. And uh, yeah, it's so pretty. And I'm making it for my baby, for my Yorkie. So this will be her little blinky. So here it is, you guys. This was the last square I worked on right here. I have no idea what are the names of these yarns. So yeah, I did this whole roll right here, including this one. So there you go. That's my finished object because each square is a finished object to me. So yeah. So this is what it looks like. And I love the colors. Some of these colors, I made socks. Like I made socks with this one, made socks with this one, with this one. With this one, I made hats with this one. I made a pattern of socks with this one. I made a shawl with this one. <laughs> a hobie look at Sally Shaw I made with this one. And uh, yeah, so far. Oh, and this one is Manny Petty. That one I remember. This is Manny Petty from Lion Brain Yarn. Yeah. So this is. For my little doggie, which I'm gonna do this whole row right here with these little squares, and because it's 16 squares up and then 16 squares in the bottom, but I'm gonna do like after I finish this row right here, I will be like doing this size squares on it, like like that, 36 this way and 36 up, because these little squares take forever, you guys. I mean, they're quick to be done. But by the time you switch colors and, you know, get to the next square and the next and the next and then like, it, 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 this is probably why this has been on timeout for like ages. But so far, this is what we got so far and I've been working on this. I was working on this Friday. Um, yeah, I called it Scrappy Friday, so I was working on this one. And I was working on, now we're going, now we're moving on to whips. I'm so sorry, you guys. Allergy seasons. Baby girl, you're going to have to move over because I'm only going to show all these beautiful words to my friends out here, to my yarn family. So she's going to go to her pillow over there. And I've been working on my granny stripe blanket. Now this is a huge, like... You guys, huge blanket. And because when I started this ages ago, I started to make this for my um, queen size bed, which is crazy. I know, crazy. So every stock yarn I use, whatever's left, I am, excuse me, I am adding some squares to my mitre square, and I'm adding the rest of the yarn to this blanket. But this blanket is so massive, like, there you go. And there you go. And, uh, okay. So, it's a little twisty in here. But, yeah. And there you go. Yeah, we're a little twisted up in here. Let me get this out the way. Okay, so, back to this. And I'm up to down there where the red and gray and black yarn is at. And, uh, there you go. So, this is going to take me forever. And ever. And ever. And I just got it weaving those little bit of ends. It's not too many ends. Okay. So from the last time I spoke to you guys. I was down there where the marker is at. I did all of that. Friday. So now. Just to hold myself accountable. I'm going to move this. The, the little bit of my stitch marker. Right. I'm going to move it up. So that the next time I show you, we get to see the progress. So I moved the stitch marker up so you guys can see. Keep me accountable. So yeah, I've been making magic balls. So magic knot balls for the granny stripe, not for the other one. 
see where inside of here there's other yarns other sock with yarn because what else so then once this one is done i'm a magic knot these two together so like that it could just continue going because uh the color placements i'm not worried about i like colors and yeah i can't wait till that's done but i know it's gonna take me forever to get that one done which i'm okay with it right because it's supposed to be a relaxing and what's holding my ball of yarn is this cute <laughs> and then you see my crochet hook i'm using is a d 3.0 mm and this is i believe clover yeah so this is clover so this is clover so i'm using this hook and uh this is one of the little hats that I used to donate. I kept this one because I like the colors. And I put my ball in here. Also, this little basket, I call it the young her yarn hugger. Because I just put my yarn in there and just pull, pull away. Super easy. And I love this. The color is so pretty. It's like a coral pink. And Berna got me that. For Christmas, I believe, or birthday, I don't know. I get gifts from my babies, from my lovely ladies. Uh, another whip I've been working on. So those are my blankets. So you already saw the blankets that I'm working on. Now I'm gonna show you. This is the crochet project I have, and this one I am using yarn by Reggio. This one is Arnie and Carlos. I believe I got the other ball here. Okay, I don't have to have a ball here. So that's sad. Sad moment. But, you know, it works. So, yeah. So then I'm using this yarn by Regia. And it's the Arnie and Carlos one. You see Arnie and Carlos. And that's how it's supposed to look. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. And this is a, a show. And the pattern is by... Do, 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 do. Crochet Open Work, sh open work Shawl by Lion Brand Yarns. I started the shawl June 18, 2019. It was about that time that I guess it done. And I'm using a size G hook. And these are from, th these are from Amazon. Plasticky ones, but I love it. Okay, now I'm going to show you my shawl. I have things flying around. What is this? It's a stitch marker. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's really long. Since I had these yarns just lingering in my stash, I uh, decided to use it up. I have another crochet hook here. I decided to use it up. And I knew I wasn't going to knit it up. No time soon. And I wanted to use yarn for my stash. And this is another Regia sock yarn. And I'm back to the purple one. And I have one more ball of this beautiful orange to add. And then it'll be it'll be done. This is a very quick crochet pattern. And I like the way it looks. I don't know. For those of you that don't know me, I love colors. Like, can you tell? Love colors. That's not on my stuff, by the way. There's more in bags over there. And we have plenty in these um, plastic rolls, too. So, yeah. So, this is a super quick pattern. And it's super squishy. I, I like it. I really do. And the colors are beautiful. They play well together. Because there's some purple in the other one. And there's some greens in this one that there is right here. Right here, there's some green there as well. So it works. And this is in my Mrs. Brown bags bag. This is her scrappy bag. This is the bag that she gathers all her scraps and just made a bag with, which I have no problem. I like her bags. I like the fact that they're squishy, so you can just squish it. Okay, another whip that I am currently working on. This show is called Muscadine Show. I believe I can never remember her name for the life of me. So this show I am using 
my Thiago needles and I believe this is a five yeah after a while it's like girl get it together I believe it's a five I believe it's a five so and this yarn is lion run yarn shawl and a ball and the color unique unicorn unique unicorn and this is all I have left you guys like this is all I have left and the shawl is done I've used this is my second bowl and it's super easy intuitive it's just two row repeat and you're done girl but since I'm using lightweight and I love the colors you guys it has taken me a while but it's my fault because this could have been done you know and I like the colors so yeah so pretty and very long because I figured or found out that I do not use stuff from down here and it gradually just grows I realized that I do not like for the life of me small shawls I would not use them they would just stay there I have a shawl that I am I'm finished by what was it you loco I believe I love the yarn that I'm using the pattern is great it's just at the time when I knit it I didn't know that a shawlette is very small compared to a shawl and that was roughly when I started knitting so yeah but I have an extra skein to add to it and Berna I know you're telling me I know you're telling me I told you to bring it so I can put it back on the needles for you and you're right we will get to that show eventually <laughs> eventually so the next whip i have is living in this basket as you can see it's a black sweater my tin can knits and this is my son's sweater you guys i have sleeves picked up for this one already but and i'm in the middle of a roll here but look at the other sleeve now this is where the blather start right this is his i posted a picture on instagram and i believe on my rubber review account i've been trying it on now this is a funny thing i was in a zoom in a zoom um knitting group thing with darren my boo which i love so much so he does these Zoom videos, well, it's not a video, Zoom chat groups, knitting chat groups where there's like a bunch of us in it and we're showing each other's wits and we're having these beautiful, amazing conversations and, you know, all those things. It so happens that they ask for my son to try it on. So my son tries it on. But then they say that the sleeves look too big. I'm actually still a beginner at knitting garments, by the way. So, I tried on my son. They tell me, oh, have you done the decreases for the sleeves? I go, decreases for the sleeves? That is the thing? I mean, I didn't read that further along in the pattern. I just cast on the sleeves and just went ham on it, right? I've been knitting one round. I've been purling the next round because it's a free pattern by Tink and Knit. They also have the flax light, which is fingering. So yeah, so I'm like, okay, I was supposed to um, decrease both sleeves. They were like, you better try that sweater on your son right now. I was like, okay. So we tried it on my son. Lucky me, it fits him perfectly fine. He has some room in there, so you could put a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt on there, and he's good. I mean, guys, it's not exaggerated big. It fit the kid nice. And the length of it is pretty nice. Which was a good advice for Verna <laughs> to do the ribbon three inches I'm supposed to do. Yes, girl, you you made it work for me. Also, um, I knitted the body a little longer than what I stated as well. Because at the time when I started um, making his sweater, he, um, he was starting to grow even faster. So, yeah. So... This 
is what I'm currently working on. And this is, this one and the shawl are the ones that I've been working on the most. Because I really want to get his sweater done. He's been after it. And that shawl, I want it done. Like, or I need it done. The yarn I'm using for my son's sweater is Vanna Choice in the color Graphic. And it has all these, it has all these amazing tweets on it. All these tweets, which is amazing. So I know for sure that by the next podcast, I'm so sorry, very allergies. By the next part, podcast, I should be done with this first leaf and I should be going on the next leaf. And hopefully the show will be done by then. Because I am going to podcast every two weeks. Well, that's what I'm aiming for. I know I said I wasn't going to cast on anything until I'm done with certain things. But I was feeling a little bit down. And I needed something to make me happy. Something that I could cast on. And I bit the bullet and I did it. So, I cast on Pattern by Crazy Sock Lady, the Austin Socks. And let me see. I cast on the Austin Socks by Crazy Sock Lady. And uh, needless to say, in two days, see, I already cut the, the yarn. I just, I haven't worked on this because I've been constantly working on other stuff. Now this has a weird knot. Okay, no more knot. Free. So this only needs me to grab the tool. Like, I love the pattern. It's so beautiful. Very nice made. And it goes quick. It really it really works out quick. It works out quick. And I love the color. Which I've had this yarn for like ages in my stash. So it's pretty neat to start using stash now. And I did a heel flap and gusset. I didn't want to make a what was it? Flegal heel. I forgot how to do the fish kiss slip. So I gotta get back to that. But I just love the colors. The way they just... Whoop. So this one will be done for next week. This one will, will be done for next week. Typical needles that I use is my US1. These are higher, higher sharps. I do have the second sock going as well. I'm so sorry. These allergies are kicking my ears. So I have the second sock going, as you can see. That the cables would, you know. Yeah, there you go. So I'm already into the body of the socks. The ribbon is done. I, for my socks, I really don't care if they match because apparently I try to match these and did not work, as you can see. There's too much pink on this one, where this one doesn't have that much pink. It's only in the edge of the top. But overall, I think they're working. They're, they're, they're okay, right? Yeah, they're okay. They're not exact, but you can tell that there are a couple, you know? So this one will be done by the next podcast. I will have a hole. Could have had a hole if I would have, you know. But there's something else that's keeping my attention. So anyhow, so there goes that. And the yarn that I am using, hopefully I didn't give it a little safe. It's Regia Floral Mania Color. What color is this? Oh, and the Neon Flow colorway. That looks like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm also using a sock hugger that Verna gifted me. And that is holding this beautiful cake you see right here. With all these amazing colors that you see right there. All these amazing colors. And at the time I was feeling a little bit down. And when I saw this colorway in my cabinet here, I said I have to cast this on. And I made it into a cake because it looks better in a cake than the actual ball size. So yeah. So this goes in here. And the cool thing about this is let's see 
Okay, right here. It has these little clippies where you can clip it like this so your yarn won't fly off. See? And you could even clip it more because there's, there's more to it. You have more in the inside. See? And you can just pull your yarn from there. Which is pretty cool. But I like it. I like this. Which is <laughs> personal preference, I guess. Okay, uh, fun fact about the about these socks. I started these socks on my ZPN. Oops, sorry. Oops. Hello, clumsy me again. On my signature needle arts. And they are the, my normal size for my socks, which is a US one, 2.25 millimeter. And I finished the heel, and I was a little bit on the foot, and I couldn't no more. I, I just couldn't. And then I switched to my Magic Loop, which, Verna, yes, I see. I love me Magic Loop, so this one, instead of doing it on this, I did a Magic Loop. What I will do is do the heel flap and gusset on my DPNs because it made it easier for me and knit the foot with my circulars. We'll see if I do that or if I just continue with the with the magic loop. But I needed something to make me smile, something that it will give me an uh, moment and this yarn made my day. It really did make my day. And I have everything in here. I have my own sock ruler in here. But you guys know that I live, I live by that. I even had the cozies for the DPNs. That didn't happen. I also have my ruler. That happens all the time. Then I have some stitch markers here. And a pair of scissors in there. And yeah, so I've been constantly working on those three. The crochet shawl, not as much as the knitted objects. Because I love to knit. I love to knit. Sorry guys if you hear my kids in the background. You do know we're in quarantine and kids are home. So yeah. So that's done. What else I got to show you guys? Well, that is it for the knitting content. Now I'm going to show you an item that has been keeping me like like a little girl. Because I became a little girl. Let me wait for it. Because silly me left it up here. So everybody's been raving on the Animal Crossing game, right? So I... Hi, puppy. Hey. So I've been obsessing with this. To the point where I bought my own game. Well, my boyfriend bought me the game. And I got myself a Switch in the coral pink, the limited edition color. And I've been playing this like a little girl. I love this game, by the way. And then my boyfriend also got me the vampire game. For those of you that don't know, I love vampire shows, movies, and books, everything vampire. That is so me. So that's been taking my time as well as all of this. Then there's a show in Netflix called, um, what was it? It's by Nikki Jam. These are reggaeton artists, Puerto Rican reggaeton artists, and that show is bombs. Like, it's called Nikki Jam a Ganador. And it looks, sheesh, there you go. So that show is amazing, you guys. I have been enjoying that show, like, a lot. And then, here's a picture of my son trying out his sweater. You see, the sleeves are fitting him good, so I'm happy, very happy about that. And then the Zoom meeting that we have with Darren was amazing. Jeez, the light is really kicking my mm. So you see some of the ladies there and gentlemen, no discrimination. It's a fiber family. So this one was pretty cool because my, my love was in this one. 
She's Verna. Uh, who else? There's lots of beautiful shawls shown here and, and amazing projects that we were showing each other. People from all over the world were here. Um, Debbie, it felt amazing to see Debbie. Again, um, Ardell, amazing to see her. Darren, of course. Mwah. Smooches, because I love you. Yeah, there was so many amazing people here. There was one left knitter. <laughs> In the group, everybody else is a right-hand knitter. But overall, those, I believe, two hours or three that we had, chatting and talking about a little bit of everything, and it was just amazing. I, I enjoyed it. And I believe we're going to do it again this week. So that's cool because I get to also knit and, and chat with them and show them what I'm working on. They show me what they're working on. And everybody's so kind and respectful, so that's a plus. And um, see what else I have for you guys. I don't know about you guys, but this quarantine thing, ugh, I get no sleep. Like, I cannot get no sleep. It's been hard on me. Um, I just can't sleep for some reason. I really miss going outside. I miss the fresh air. But being that my immune system and having lupus and all these other complications in my sickness is not good for me to be outside. So it sucks. It really sucks. But I've been keeping myself busy. Busy. I've been keeping myself busy, you guys. I have been, me and my boyfriend and my son, we started with my yarn room. So... You know, we reorganize things and move things around to make more space for me to sit and play with. Um, we put some shelves on the top so that we can put my my knitting books. See on the top, my heads and all of that. Yeah, there's more yarn. Um, we even painted my daughter's room pink. I got them a new bed on Amazon. I got them a little closet thing, a, a open wardrobe. Uh, we painted my son's room. Well, I didn't paint none of the rooms. They painted. My son and my boyfriend painted the girls' room. My son's room. I got a new bed for my son. Um, I got him a new wardrobe as well. An open wardrobe where he can hang up all his shirts, sweaters, and coats. Um, he gave me his white bookshelf. He also gave me his black Ikea desk, which was amazing. Because I am planning on painting it, depending on what color scheme I'm going to do. Because I am currently going to move into this small bedroom and making it as my bedroom. And then my big bedroom, we're going to transform it into the playroom. Where my daughters can sit and paint and color whatever they want to do in one little area. And I will have the majority of the room, actually, to display my yarn, my planner obsession, and... Uh, it's way bigger, so the lighting in that room is amazing because there's two big windows and that room is amazing, trust me. So I know doing my videos over there would be amazing for you guys. I mean, I do have my lights. I do have my camera, which I have to stop playing games and learn how to use it because I have a good camera for YouTube. Also, I got to learn how to edit and all these other things that comes with that. But once I move to the big room, then I will have time to you know look online and see what's out there see what programs i should get because everything i use is apple but my desktop my desktop is hp touchscreen but everything else is apple my ipads are apple yes i have to my phone is apple my i have a laptop as well it's also apple um yeah so all these things so right now I'm recording on my iPad. <laughs> you know, sometimes I record on my cell phone because I like the picture quality of it. But I do have a good camera. And I also have a beauty channel where I do um, makeup tutorials and stuff, which I haven't been doing. But I will get to do all these things once I transfer my bedroom into the everyday room. Because I'm going to have a vanity section to have my makeup. I'm going to have a section where... I can put my important papers and patterns and stuff like that in a file and I could get to it and it's going to be very open and spacious. My girls are going to be able 
to be in the room with me and craft while I'm doing either knitting or because I also create stickers and stuff I have my sticker cutting machine I have a portrait I have my Canon um, printer scanner and then some because it does everything at once I have my HP computer which is amazing I can't do videos on it because my ex accidentally let it fall and messed up the camera on it but overall the computer is great so it doesn't have a modem you know like it doesn't have the tower everything is within the screen which is amazing because you don't have this awkward giant thing taking space so that's amazing then you have the little keyboard the little mouse so you know it works and I have some furniture that I can repurpose and use in the big room and things will look better over there also where I have my bookshelf it's a mess but I'm gonna show you I don't care so you see that that's my desk and I put that bookshelf on it and uh, yeah so I put my bookshelf on it to make more space here because the way it was um the way the furniture was before there was no space here like my dust chair no lie couldn't move much and that was like frustrating me because I'm a bit claustrophobic so that area where I just showed you, we're gonna make that, me and my boyfriend are gonna make it into a closet. So we're gonna put some rods there. And then like two Ikea mom dresses there. So we could put our socks and underclothes and pajamas and then we could hang up all our clothes. In my regular bedroom, we're gonna keep the closet for storage, you know, for like curtains and stuff because I have a bigger apartment, but I, there's no closet, so that sucks. Also, yeah, so I can't wait to the to the swap, you guys. As soon as I get things done where everything is put where it belongs in the other room, I will show you the room. Yes, all the furniture doesn't match, but I don't mind. Uh, I might, I might paint everything black or white, you know, depending. So everything could kind of match. But overall, I don't mind it because... You know, sometimes you got to work with what you got, you know. You can't kill yourself and, and struggle because there's a lot of things going on now. And there's no time. We ain't got time for that. So I already picked out the color I want for that room that will be Lady Crafts A Lot Beauty Guru Craft Room. So I already picked out the pink color for that. So I'm super excited. Can't wait till that happens. And yeah, that's so much. Like... I've just been blathering and I haven't showed you guys my can't stop won't stop gotta have it because you know I'm right I gotta have it so I have four skeins here stash enhancement baby so I have a, this yarn from yarn ink art on strings and it looks like that wow the light just completely just boom so yeah so there goes this let me see if I turn this light on it'll help us okay you guys we got light <laughs> my LED lights oh, it's my savior this is amazing so yeah this is in the color jazz and if you guys watched um, the grocery girls you do know that mrs. brown bags sorry Jody I think it's her name hey uh -uh, don't do that princess no no she raised about this yarn a lot so I had to get it yarn ink and jazz and it has the most amazing speckles like you're honestly seeing true to color speckles here you guys so I got that then I also heard them speak about the two sister yarn company so I had to go online and get this to support these beautiful people. And this is in the color I Want Candy. And this is a self-striping yarn. Four rows each of lemon, lime, blueberry, grape, strawberry, and tangerine 400 yards. And it's right, right there. I just love the colors. If you know me, you know Narita likes colors. 
Then I saw this yarn, Vivid Yarn Studio, Julia Stangleland, I think. So, this is a beautiful yarn, you guys. And this is on the colorway Snowflake. Fiber concepts is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and it is a finger in 463 yards. And this is dyed in Canada. And there's the yarn concepts right there. Wait. <laughs> this is the right way. I was right, you guys. You know. Being quarantined is, uh, yeah, kicking my holes. So this is No Makers in the color Crowley, fingering weight 460 yards in the Bungalow Gnome 75% Superwash BFL, which is Blue Face Lester for those of you who don't know, and 25% Nylon. And you can shop online at gnomeacres.com. And it looks like this. I really like this color. It's so pretty. See, those colors are amazing. See that? It just has so many yumminess to it. Like, check out this area right here. I love it. Look at this. I just love it. So, yeah, you guys. These are my can't stop, won't stop, gotta have it. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed my podcast. I hope you hit like subscribe it's free and uh, yeah check out my robbery group i have a robbery group where i have a couple of knit alongs there and uh yeah i haven't introduced yourself um content click it let me know who you are show me your whips i'm okay with that maybe i'll get inspired and probably cast something else but until then, I must finish my son's black sweater, finish this shawl, and those socks is a piece of cake. So yeah, bye you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my podcast. Uh, if there's something that you guys would like me to change, let me know in the comments down below. Hit like, subscribe. It's free. It's okay. And let me know what other contests would you like me to talk about in the podcast because I am okay with it. And my hair looks crazy. So yeah, guys, bye. Bye, Yarny friends.